at a California businesswoman who invested $25 million in creating a tourist attraction in rural Nevada says she probably wouldn't make the same decision again. That's a lot of money. The founder of the Mustang Monument Wild Horse Sanctuary in Elko County says that further investment just would be a waste of money because she has been blocked from opening not only from the BLM but also by Elko County officials who say they don't want to support anything that keeps wild horses on the range. George Napa, the I team is here with this story. It's surprisingly very strict building codes apparently they have up there in Elko. Uh, incredibly strict up there. You know, Madeline Pickens is rich, she's blonde, she's female, and she's from California, and that's like four strikes against her in some circles. Uh, but the fact that she wants to create a sanctuary for wild horses in a county known for its ranching industry is probably what doomed her Mustang Monument project. Ranchers are not fans of the BLM by any means, but animosity toward wild horses is the one issue on which both of those camps can agree. To be designated as a monument is huge on the global maps. At travel expos around the world, including Europe and China, Madeline Pickens pitched her Mustang Monument as something different for high-end tourists. A chance to interact with wild horses in the same region where the first horses on Earth were born. Travel agents loved it, state tourism promoted it, and the visitors who stayed last year were overwhelmed. 2016 looked like it would be a huge success, but it never happened. And we had to announce that, you know, we had to reimburse them, we had to cancel their reservations. Of course, it's terrible. Pickens knew she'd have trouble with the BLM if she tried to put Mustangs on her public acreage, but she continued to pour millions of dollars into fixing up her 20,000 deeded acres. New water systems, massive pivots, to grow alfalfa, first-class guest accommodations, a hangar filled with expensive SUVs and customized coaches. Local contractors were hired to do the work, local ranch hands to care for the Mustangs. The monument represented jobs, tourists, and tax dollars. But from the beginning, Elko County said no thanks. Wow. County commissioners, several of them cattle ranchers, voted against the sanctuary in 2010. In the minutes of public meetings, commissioners said they opposed any use of water rights for wild horses. Another said he didn't have enough information to make a decision, but still didn't like Pickens' idea. Elko is cattle country, and ranchers see wild horses as a threat. You take that hatred of horses aside, there's, there's no good reason why, why anybody should be opposed to this here or anywhere else. Since that county commission vote, Pickens encountered obstacles at every turn. Building inspectors imposed and enforced standards unknown in Elko County, and delays became commonplace. They don't discriminate. They will all apply kind of the same standard, which is it's Madeline Pickens, so she can wait a little while. She's from California, so she can wait a little while. So every time the building department comes by, they now want me to fix another building up for another $750,000. They don't like this, they don't like that. Example, an old house converted into a dining hall and kitchen. It took two years to get the permits and cost a million dollars. La cuisine. She intended to build a kitchen that could handle up to 45 diners maximum to match the ranch's capacity, but instead had to construct a stainless steel mega kitchen that looks like it belongs at the MGM Grand. You could see this kitchen in a, a restaurant in San Francisco that served 500 people. And, you know, it, it's totally out of place here. I mean, she'll never use what, what's there, but they just made her build it because they could. The Kitchen mops had to have their own walled off section. That required its own permit. A walk in refrigerator was nearly approved until an inspector wanted to see evidence it was earthquake proof. And so I asked the people about it, you know, the engineers and the builder. He said, We have never, ever been asked for this kind of information on a walk in refrigerator. Pickens spent a million dollars buying what she calls safari tents, teepees, to provide visitors with an upscale western experience. The county required that each tent sit atop a slab of concrete and rebar seven feet thick, then added the tents would need their own sprinkler systems in case of fire. I said, I'm out of this. So I rolled up my tents and they're all stored and probably I will sell them to somebody in another state or somewhere else. They've all had a nod and a wink from them. In other words, give her a hard time. And you know, that's hard to take um, because you come in, you're sincere, you're doing everything right. But after a while, you don't want to just 
continue to throw money away. Not only is she restricted from using that mega kitchen for feeding tourists, she doesn't have permission to use it for her own family to have a meal. The airplane hangar that's full of custom SUVs will likely be sold off without the vehicles ever being used at all. We called Elko County for a comment and we'll let you know what they have to say when we speak to them. It's a big holiday weekend, so it's hard to get a hold of anyone, but I'm sure they'll call us back. Long list of obstacles. All right, George, thanks for the update.